No means of measure can define his limitless love. He's enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's imperially powerful. He's impartially merciful. Do you know him? He's the greatest phenomenon that has ever crossed the horizon of this world. He's God's son. He's the sinner's savior. He's the centerpiece of civilization. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He's the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He is the fundamental doctrine of true theology. He is the only one qualified to be an all-sufficient savior. I wonder, do you know him today? He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He strengthens and he sustains. He guards and he guides. He heals the sick. He cleanses the lepers. He forgives the sinners. He discharges debtors. He blesses the young and serves the unfortunate. He regards the aged. He rewards the diligent and he beautifies the meek. I wonder if you know him. He's the key to knowledge. He's the wellspring of wisdom. He's the doorway of deliverance. He's the pathway of peace. He's the roadway to righteousness. He's the highway to holiness. He's the gateway of glory. Do you know him? Well, his light is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. Oh, I wish I could describe him to you. He's indescribable. He's incomprehensible. He's irresistible. He's invincible. You can't get him out of your head and you can't get him off your hand. You can't outlive him and you can't live without him. The Pharisees couldn't stand him, but they found out they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him, and Herod couldn't kill him. Death couldn't handle him, and the grave couldn't hold him. That's my king. That's my king. <laughs>